Pease has accused the retailer Sports Direct of failing to treat its employees as human beings. The Business Select Committee says working practices in the company's warehouse in Shirebrook in Derbyshire and in its shops were closer to a Victorian workhouse than a high street retailer. Dave Condliffe is from the Unite Union, which helped expose what's been happening there. For four years, 4,000 workers were paid below the national minimum wage with all kinds of different exploitive work practices going on. I mean, over 100 ambulance call-outs, a young woman giving birth on site. And what the Biz Select Committee wants to tell the rest of the UK is that this is commonplace. And if workers aren't in trade unions and they do not have a collective voice, they cannot challenge legal minimum standards that people enjoy. Well, the committee says an extremely disturbing spotlight has been shone on Sports Direct, with some staff saying they were promised permanent contracts in exchange for sexual favours. Other evidence pointed to serious health and safety breaches. The company is run by Mike Ashley, who appeared in person at the committee hearing last month. I've got nothing to hide. Come on, will you find it 100% perfect? Of course you won't. You will find things out that I obviously don't know are going on or happening. I have no issues with this as an ongoing process and I could, I prefer it to be... Totally that was Mike Ashley speaking at the committee last month. The uh, statement today from Sports Direct is that we will study the contents of this report very carefully and that it's our policy to treat all our people with dignity and respect. It says we're pleased to see that the committee has recognised Mike Ashley's commitment to engage in addressing any shortcomings in the working practices at Sports Direct. It's breakfast, it's BBC Radio Sheffield. Now, we're going to start uh, with talking about Sports Direct. Uh, they have a massive warehouse in Shirebrook in North Derby, as you'll know. And you'll remember that last month, the founder of Sports Direct, Mike Ashley, appeared before a committee of MPs. Well, that committee has just published its findings, and they're damning. Let's speak to Dave Conliffe from the Unite Union. Uh, they're praised in the report for supporting workers and exposing what's been happening at this warehouse. Dave, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. So, what has been happening? Well, this, I mean, all, this report confirms all our concerns about what's been going on at Sports Direct for over the past number of years. And at the heart of the issue is the inability for workers to raise concerns for fear of losing their employment. We've had the well-documented case of a young woman giving birth on site, the health and safety abuses, the numerous ambulance call-outs, and the report refers to workers as commodities. Sports Direct refers to workers as commodities, working conditions below acceptable standards in a modern civilized economy, and they're especially damning towards the. Um, practice of the agencies, Best Connections and Transline, who are paid £50 million by Sports Direct to supply labour. And uh, so, I mean, the two agencies in question are accused of giving false evidence and misleading the committee with their, when they were asked questions about their dubious insurance schemes and the fact that they charge workers £10 to set up a bank account, then charge workers again for drawing their own wages out. So we welcome a lot of what is in this report, especially the extension of the scope of the gangmasters' licence and authority to look into these practices. But what the report really highlights is precarious employment, this kind of power imbalance is at the heart of this widespread worker exploitation. So we'd call upon Sports Direct, who we're, in, we're now in positive dialogue with, to move agency workers into fixed hour permanent contracts and start to value their workers. Let's get Sports Direct back into the FTSE 100 index. I mean, <clears throat> you say you're in a constructive dialogue, dialogue yeah. with them. Uh, the report says uh, that Mike Ashley is conducting a working practices review. Do you think things might improve? Well, it's crucial that re that review is independent, isn't it? Mm. Um, but I just want I just want to make this point. Well, the report also also indicates that this is not happening just in sports direct alone. So our second sort of call out would be to work to with, uh, to government mm. to work mm. with us to. Um, legislate to outlaw this kind of precarious employment and use of zero contracts and to help us regulate the agency labour and to give workers security. So I mean, there is, we, there is the option though, isn't there, of course, that, because there are other places where we, we could be concerned about, um, about working practices and what they do is they just base themselves in China and we still happily pay £2 for a blouse to go out at the weekend when they come over here. It, it all comes down to what the consumer is prepared to pay, doesn't it? Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, Sports Direct is a highly successful, um, like say, sports retail company. It's in the FTSE 100 index, and it's quite a popular company. So people choose to shop there. And what what we've had it's really cheap. 
Yeah, uh, but like I say, but what we've had throughout this campaign is the mm. public have been sort of made, been made aware of what's been going on inside Sports Direct, and obviously it's hit their share price, their valuation, and it's hit their recent profits. Mm. So, with, like I say, British, the British public does not like it when workers are exploited. Well, well, but uh, to be fair, Dave, come on, look at the yeah. high streets, look where the clothes come from, look at the sweatshops in, in the, in the um, Far East, that's where we buy our clothes from. Yeah, we've got, obviously, we've got um, a wider, we've got to understand where these clothes come from, and we can address that, and we have campaigns that address that. But if we're going to do something about workplaces in the UK today, what I would implore every worker to do is join a trade union, because you cannot address these corporate injustices alone. We've seen you cannot raise, and like I say, you cannot raise legal minimum standards. They're difficult to enforce when you're on your own. So this is, this is what this campaign is all about. You're right in what you're saying about companies like Primark and things like that, but that's a wider campaign that we involve by educating obviously the public on what the issues that are kind of going on and the, why, the reasoning behind getting that cheap clothing. But we're concentrating on Sports Direct today and then the report that's come out. Well, is there a danger, of course, that whilst we concentrate on him, what happens in the report happens? Because they do say there is, that there is a risk that Mr Ashley's business model will become the norm for other companies. Well, that's, that's our fear, isn't it? Um, that this kind of precarious work, and we, we have to make between three and four million people in town of this kind of precarious work. This is, what, this is what it leads to, this kind of widespread work exploitation. And if this is the model that Sports Direct deploy, what's stopping mm. all other employers deploying this model? There's no reason to have workers on, uh, through, like, say, through agencies or zero contracts. At the this select committee, the two agencies were asked, what's the average number of hours workers work at the warehouse? And it's between 32 and 39 hours. There's no reason to employ them through agency on temporary contracts when the, when the work's available. Dave, thanks very much indeed for your time this morning. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. That's Dave Condliff there uh, from the Unite Union. Now, listen, this is really interesting, isn't it? Um, what's been said. Because I do, I'd love to know your opinion this morning. You hear about all that. You hear about these awful working practices. We, we see Mike Ashley all over the telly, all over the radio. Being generally, you know, everybody shouting and pointing at him. But... Do you still buy your trainers there? Because they're cheaper. And, you know, you, you, you look at the clothes that you're going out and buying for, for this weekend, or wherever you go and get your clothes from, do you care really how they're made? I mean, if, if we really cared about workers' rights, there are big high street chains that wouldn't be there, aren't there? What's your view? 81333. Start your text with the word Sheffield.